Northwestern was full of future demons this past weekend. And the SGA is in full swing. Welcome back to another edition of NSU News. I'm Kyla Whiney. And I'm Olivia Martzell. Thank you for joining us. Your news starts now. Each spring, Northwestern State's recruiting office hosts a senior day for high school seniors interested in learning more about NSU. Victoria Hippler has the story. Last Saturday, March 2nd, more than 350 high school seniors and their parents from around the state arrived at Northwestern's High School Senior Day. Northwestern staff and students were more than ready for its record-breaking day. Uh, as far as the preparation of Senior Day goes, um, it's usually planned a whole semester in advance, really. As soon as the fall one's over, we start planning for the spring. And it's usually a lot of different things like booking the rooms, but also lining up all the guest speakers, as well as you know just getting all the organizations together for the organization fair. So there really is a lot that goes into the planning. Students and parents arrived in A.A. Fredericks after check-in, where they heard from multiple faculty members on campus, as well as select student organizations. Northwestern State's cheerleaders, Pon Pon Line, and Demon Dazzlers helped entertain both the parents and the students. After hearing from a guest speaker, parents and students were then separated to further answer their questions on Northwestern. There's two different um, sessions for Senior Day, two different tracks, if you will, one for parents and one for students. They all start together when they come here and sign in and register, and then they begin the guest speaking session where they just listen to a guest speaker for an hour. After that, the students do their own panel as well as the parents. It just gives us a, a better idea of um, where they come from and exactly what questions they have because we can better answer each of them on their own like that. For more information on Northwestern and upcoming recruiting events, contact the NSU Recruiting Office at 318-357-6011. For NSU, I'm Victoria Hippler. Did you see the red X on campus this week? Well, if you did but didn't know what it was all about, NSU News has the story. This week, students organized a stand for freedom in support of the Indent Movement. The Indent Movement is an effort to bring awareness about modern slavery um, across America. Um, today, there's an estimated 27 million people uh, trapped in prostitution and sex trafficking and indentured servitude all across the world, even in America. Uh, 161 countries out of 196 in the world are reported to have been affected by modern slavery. And um, so we're here to raise a voice and try to bring awareness. The reason slavery has affected the world so strongly today is that so few people know that it still exists. And so we are taking a stand for freedom. What is a stand for freedom, you may ask? So basically this Stand for Freedom event at Northwestern is just um, a student movement where we decided to stand for 27 hours to honor the 27 million slaves in the world today. And so we're raising awareness and um, fundraising for IJM, which is the International Justice Mission as well. To raise awareness, students took shifts staying on the Kaiser Brickway over the course of 27 hours. They each hoped that the stand would make an impact on NSU's campus. Well, what we hope for NSU is just awareness, really. Um, the biggest thing that we can do is, is bring awareness to people about the, the problem that's there because if, if you don't know about the problem, how can you fix it? For NSU News, I'm Jill Waller. NSU has two governing bodies and the Student As Go Government Association is one of them. With elections right around the corner, reporter Kyla Whiney has the story. Last year, Derek Houston was elected president of Northwestern State University Student Government Association. But do you know what Student Government Association is and who it represents? SGA, which is Student Government Association, basically is the voice of the students. Any concern that the students have, they bring it to us. We have senators that write bills that hopefully can resolve the problem. If the senators can't do it, we'll try our best to get in touch with the administration to find out what the best solution is. Being the president of Student Government Association, you will wear many different hats. 
the start of improvement starts with the students. In order for a student government association to move forward, we need more student involvement. We want to know, we need to know what the students want to see. Uh, just like the possibility of getting a new student union, it's no way possible if we don't really know what the students want to see in the new student union. We know we need one, but we actually we want to know what the students would like to see in a new student union. Or even just the fact of students coming to the meetings and voicing their opinions about certain things. We all know people complain about this and complain about that, but nobody wants to do anything about it or tell the right people for it to get fixed. So, I mean, getting more students involved on campus would be, would be a great, great asset to the Student Go Governor Association. But every good president needs a strong vice president. Raven Magzeal is your Student Government Association vice president. As a vice president, I oversee the senators, make sure that they're doing their jobs, keeping up with their office hours. Um, I also oversee the committees, making sure that the committees are um, doing what they need to do, making sure that the centers are going to their committee meetings. It's up to you, Northwestern students, to elect the best qualified candidates when elections are announced. Make sure you get out and vote. I'm Kyla Whiney for NSU News. Richard, how do you think the weather will be this weekend? Well, we'll have cloud coverage and possible rain, but I'll have that more when we return. It could have been half a century ago. Or maybe it was just last spring. It doesn't matter how long ago you graduated, because here, you're still family. No matter where your education has taken you, or how much you think things have changed, Northwestern is still home. Wouldn't you like to receive an Ivy League education at a fraction of the cost? The Louisiana Scholars College is here to give you just that in a close-knit learning environment. Established in 1987 as the state's designated honors college, the Louisiana Scholars College continues to offer a unique, comprehensive, and interdisciplinary curriculum that helps hundreds of students excel beyond the rest in the professional world. The Scholars College seeks highly motivated students who are willing to experience new ideas in pursuit of their education. Expand your mind without expanding your wallet. When you come to the end of your educational journey, keep your NSU connection by becoming an active member of the NSU Alumni Association. As a part of the NSU Foundation Incorporated, the Alumni and Student Alumni Association have been working together to aid students through their studies while enhancing student involvement and instilling a sense of tradition in the university's students and alumni. For more information, visit NorthwesternAlumni.com or stop by the Alumni Center to keep that demon spirit alive. Ever wanted to travel abroad and climb the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France? Boat on the waterways of Venice, Italy. Visit the famous castles of Bavaria, Germany. Or relax on the sandy beaches of Sydney, Australia. While earning class credit at the same time, these locations and opportunities are offered to you as an NSU student, regardless of your major. For more information, contact the Family and Consumer Sciences Department, and you can be on your way. Good afternoon, Northwestern State. I'm Richard Schinberg, and this is your NSU weather. Looking at our demon Doppler radar, we can see the cloud coverage that we have over our skies right now that's making our temperatures a little cold. Now, our current conditions are 64 degrees with our humidity at 29%, our dew point at 31 degrees, and our winds are coming from the southeast at 6 miles per hour. Our national satellite radar shows the same cloud coverage that is over our skies and these clouds right over Texas will push into our area and that's where we'll see rain later on this weekend. And also in the northeast part of the United States, you see the snowstorm, snowstorm Saturn that will be affecting New York and the rest of the New England part of the United States. Now let's take a look at our temperatures. New York, 36 degrees, and Miami, 71, and Seattle, 50 degrees. Our 
Our regional satellite shows the same clouds that I just told you about that is pushing through our area right now. The reason why we have not that much sun but cool, cooler temperatures. And the clouds will be pushing through our area later on this weekend. Our regional conditions in Shreveport, cloudy skies, 61 degrees. New York, Orleans, cloudy skies, 60 degrees. And Huntsville, sunny skies with 51 degrees as their temperature. In Louisiana, Monroe, 60, 58 degrees. Baton Rouge, 60 degrees. And in Lake Charles, 64 degrees. Tonight, we'll have clear skies for our low as 44 degrees. While tomorrow we'll have our cloudy skies with our high of 70 degrees. Now let's take a look at our five day forecast. Friday and Saturday we'll have cloudy skies with our temperatures ranging from 71 to 70 degrees as our highs and 50 to 42 as our lows. Saturday, Sunday and Monday we'll have showers with our temperatures ranging from 74 as our highs to 62 as our low. And she still have sunny skies with 62 as our high and 39 as our low. I'm Richard Schoenberg. This has been NSU Weather. Welcome. You and her and all the other cousins would be having tea parties in her playhouse out back. Hi. I rehearse trying to convey the right emotion, so please don't cause a commotion and mess me up. Thanks. I spend countless hours moving with grace. So please, be careful with flashing cameras. They can be distracting. Grace, thy steps retreat, poor wandering one. I spend countless hours trying to perfect my pitch. So please silence your cell phones. I want to be heard. Please adhere to the rules so we can put on our best performance for you. The time has come for you to make the big decision about where you will attend college. If Northwestern State is the place you want to go but do not have all the requirements necessary to attend NSU, then don't give up hope. You can still come to Natchitoches and take classes on campus at Bossier Parish Community College at NSU. Bipsy at NSU is here to help students start their college career and reach admission requirements for Northwestern. Bipsy at NSU, excellence in education and service. Northwestern State University of Louisiana encourages education, research, and action focused on the environment, energy conservation, and sustainability. Also, as part of this initiative, NSU promotes a healthy student body campus and community. NSU is proud to support thinking and acting in an environmentally responsible way. The Creative and Performing Arts Department is preparing their version of the musical West Side Story, opening this month. Lizzie Helgerson has more on this story. This spring, the theater department has been hard at work on Lou Bernstein's musical, West Side Story. So, basically, West Side Story is like a modern day Romeo and Juliet. But it, it's between the, star, the Sharks and the Jets, which is the Puerto Ricans and the New Yorkers, basically. And uh, Tony is a Jet, and he falls in love with Maria, who is the sister of the head of the gang. His name is Bernardo, the brother. Yeah, so that's not supposed to happen. And um, we're like forbidden love, star-crossed lovers. So our, my co-stars are uh, Bo Wilson, who plays Tony, and Anita is played by Taylor Morgan, and Riff is the head of the Jets, now that Tony's kind of not anymore, and he's played by David Brumfield, and my brother in the show, Bernardo, is played by D'Angelo Bernard. The audience can expect everything from dancing and singing 
to love to full on fight and action scenes. My favorite part is singing songs because singing is the easiest part for me and I really forget when I'm Grace Brumfield. I feel like I'm a different character, which is the funnest part, I think, to escape yourself. The show will run from March 20th to March 24th. Tickets are available at the door and NSU students get in for free. For NSU News, I'm Lizzie Hilgerson. The women and men track teams have been involved in several meets during this semester. Here's a report of the recent indoor Southland Conference track meet. On February 22nd and the 23rd, the women and men track and field teams competed in the Southland Indoor Conference in Norman, Oklahoma. The women and men competed in all running events and placed on the podium in the 60 meter, 200 meter, triple jump, long jump, shot put, and the 4x4. We caught up with our athletes and asked them their secrets to preparing for their events. I try to make sure I don't overthink anything. Um, just make sure I got my mind right. Just go through the stuff that I have to do, know what I have to do during the race and everything. So just keep a great mindset. Um, the way I mentally prepare myself is I have my music going. I mentally see myself actually doing the throw so I can know when I get into the ring what I need to at least expect myself to do to throw for. High point score for Northwestern, Jerrica Tillery, talks about her preparation methods in regards to her event. I just kept working hard with my jumps coach and just went into every practice trying to improve myself, basically. The men finished fifth indoor and the women finished seventh overall to end the 2013 indoor season. The women and men will start their outdoor season at the McNeese Cowboy Relays in Lake Charles, Louisiana. SU TV, this is Angelica Katoon. So Michael, what time do the Lady Demons play tonight? The Lady Demons play at 5.30, followed by the men at 7. And we'll have more of that when we return. Looking for a way to stay healthy and get into shape? Then come and join NSU's Wellness Recreation and Activity Center. The rack contains two large gyms for basketball, volleyball, and badminton, racquetball courts, free weight room, strength and cardio rooms, group exercise room, and an indoor track. The rack has a fully staffed service center and will serve all of your health needs. Come and start your lifestyle change today at the NSU Rack. Are you tired of problems on campus and want to do something about it? The Student Government Association is here for you. The SGA strives in making a difference for students and enhancing student life here at Northwestern. They work to improve problems on campus like parking, housing, food services, and many more. So if you have a problem or you just want to make a difference at NSU, the SGA is the organization for you. The SGA, the voice of the people. Through these doors are some of the nation's top cadets in the Army ROTC program. Northwestern State University prides itself on having a ROTC program that ranks among the top 10 in the nation. Through learning the importance of education, discipline, and leadership, these cadets are in the right place to start a lifetime of excellence. Northwestern State University's Army ROTC program, pushing past the standards to greatness. Welcome back, Demon fans. I'm Michael Johnson, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. The men's basketball team is coming off their five-game road trip going 3-2 with their last game ending in a crushing loss to heated rival SFA 64-63. Senior forward James Hublin led the team with 20 points and 8 rebounds, followed by 10 points from sophomore center Marvin Frazier as the Demons were playing without leading scorer and rebounder Daquan Hicks, who was sidelined with an ankle injury. With a 19-8 overall record and 13-3 in conference, the Demons look to lock up a buy-in to the semifinals of next week's conference tournament. To do so, they will have to finish off strong. Their first test comes tonight when they take on Corp Texas A&M Corpus Christi. No doubt about it. Corpus Christi uh, 
first and foremost is, is just really talented and they've got some good young players and they'll be a, be a handful and hopefully, you know, the home court advantage will be an advantage for us and I'm hopeful we'll have a great crowd as we've had all year. Been very uh, appreciative of uh, the fact that we've had just great support from the community. Uh, Saturday, the Demons are home against Sam Houston, and it will be senior night. The men's team will be saying goodbye to a few players on Saturday. Yeah, anytime you get to say goodbye to group guys that have been with you for, you know, some of them a full uh, four years and two of them, three of them um, actually been here the whole time. James has been here for five years and Shamir and OJ for four and then Chucky really just left for two years. He's been in Nactish all his life. but. Uh, and then, of course, David, you like. But you know, the special part about it is the fact that those kids wanted to be at Northwestern and, and they're gonna take away more than just uh, some good basketball, but they're gonna take degrees away from this institution and that's very important to their future. Just like the men, the Lady Demons fell short coming off the road with a loss to SFA 48-44. Freshman guard Keisha Lee led the team with 18 points while our freshman companion Janelle Perez had nine. Hoping to end their season on a good note like the men, the Lady Demons take on Texas A&M Corpus Christi tonight at 5.30 and then match up against Sam Houston on Saturday at 1. Coach Storrs is not looking ahead to the tournament and is focused on Corpus Christi right now. Um, we've got to do a great job on the boards. We've got to really do a good job defensively, boxing out, limiting them to one shot, um, and kind of trying to neutralize their athleticism. Um, they hurt us on the offensive glass at Corpus, and we've got to do a much better job defending them in that respect. And then we've got to go execute offensively. We hit some shots against them and um, really gotten a good offensive flow on the road, and hopefully we'll be able to do that on Thursday night against them. If for some reason you can't make it for either Thursday night and Saturday's games, you can catch all of the action right here on NSU TV. For replay times, just check in NSUDemons.com for the details. Revenge was served at Bat Wednesday as Demon baseball team surged back in the sixth inning to get a victory over Tulane 5-1. Coming off of Tuesday's loss to the Green Wave, the Demons made an explosive run with a two-out, two-run double led by Matt Barker. The team is 7-7 with their next opponent being Louisiana Monroe, who they'll face on Friday at 6.30 at Brown Stroud Field in Natchitoches. Tuesday night, the Red Hot Lady Demons softball team hit the road to take on Southern University and they were too much for the Lady Jaguars, beating them 8-0. to zero. They now travel down to Lake Charles to open up conference play, taking on McNeese with a double hitter on Saturday and a single game on Sunday. Hitting with power was shown Sunday occasion course as the Lady Demons tennis team overpowered University of Louisiana Lafayette 6-1. to one. The Lady Demons improved their record to 5-3, with the next game being the first conference game of the season against Texas A&M Corpus Christi at 11 a.m. at the Jack Fisher Tennis Complex. And remember, for all your Demon sports coverage, make sure you go to NSUDemons.com to get game recaps, schedules, and more from our sports information department. And that will do it for your Demon sports blitz. I'm Michael Johnson. Richard, how do you think the weather will be tonight for the basketball games? It will be chilly, but it should be some great weather. So all right, and Michael, how do you feel about the game tonight? Do you think we're going to win? I think if we come out with a fierce competitive fire nature, I think we'll come out on top. And that's going to do it for this edition of NSU News. I'm Olivia Martzell. And I'm Kyla Whiney. Thank you for joining us, and have a great night.